as being black. So it becomes selfishness realization. But if you realize yourself as being black, not only have you realized yourself, you have realized the people. But if you just realize some self other than being black, which is having compassion for others, those of whom you are among, and even those who have given to you, because it was black people that gave our life to us. Didn't no white man give me my goddamn life to me. Do you hear me? It was black people that gave our life to us. So realizing that black self is a divine cycle of perpetuated existence. Not realizing that is not self-realization, but selfishness realization. Because you recognize in the self that separates you from others. Am I correct? It makes you, it separates you from other people. You are not black. You're not your people. You're just a self. A self. Somewhere in you, you're a self. But I'm saying that the self-realization that we're talking about with black supremacy ties you into 76 trillion years of self. Teach. Over 400 billion dimensions of self. Over a trillion shades of darkness of self. That's different than that other annihilation shit. This self realization roots you on Earth, roots you with the history of the planet Earth. The other shoots you off into Never Never Land. To nowhere. No connection, no history, no reincarnation, no ancestors. Just you just off into nothing. You off into nothing. But a quest to make something exist. Y'all don't hear me. A quest to make something exist that can only exist in separation for others from others. But the black guy conscious meditation can exist while you are conscious in the presence of others. This meditation can happen with your eyes open looking at one another. And that eyes open looking at one another doesn't jeopardize your sense of self, but expands your sense of self. Teach. The other one makes you close your eyes and you are distracted. By other eternal reflections of who you are, which are your own people. This is deep. Your own people are eternal reflections of you. Of your ancestors, your people, your greatness, your advanced civilizations. But you're distracted by them. Let me go meditate. <coughs> Black guy consciousness meditation is like lucid dreaming. It's like daydreaming, but you awake. I'm going heavy. It's like traveling back into the past in the present moment and seeing the greatness of your self in the now. You're here, but there. Here becomes there. Then starts looking like now. Follow me with this. So now you ain't seeing niggas and unrealized beings. You're not seeing people who don't know who Shaka Zulu is or don't know what a chakra is. <laughs> You're seeing a mighty people that you was interwoven with socially in a way where we ruled and had peace on earth within our enlightened civilizations and enlightened societies. You will not achieve that with a yoga mat and some breathing exercises.
You're not, it's not going to happen. And you can't purchase enough weed <laughs> to stay there. It, marijuana will give you a glimpse. I'm not going to lie. You'll start seeing eye in eye. And you'll start seeing eye in eye in eye in eye. But you ain't going to stay there. It's just going to give you a glimpse. When you see I and I royalty, I and I majesty, I and I divinity, you see it. When you're smoking weed, you're there. Rastafari I. But as soon as that high wear off, <laughs> only thing you're looking for then is where the, where the weed man at in America. Where did I put my pipe at? Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm being honest with you. You are not going to stay there until you have the full awakening. I'm telling you, you can smoke weed and go back. I've smoked weed and traveled back into ancient times and was standing there. You follow? I saw black guy consciousness. I saw what the Rastafarian is seeing. I was there. I saw Queen Alpha and King Omega. Honestly. But you can't stay there off marijuana. You're not awakening. You're just getting a glimpse. You understand the point I'm making? But the true enlightened devotee of black God consciousness lives there. It is a weed high that never stops. You always see an I and I royalty and I and I divinity for Ivor. You know what I'm saying? Literally. This is this is the this is when your perception has completely transformed. And you're not seeing what the propagandists want you to see. What Willie Lynch wanted you to see. You seeing a royal black family. You understand the point I'm making? The true tribe. You're seeing that. You're seeing the chosen people of a black God. And you're living in that reality. And somebody buying Jordans and skinny jeans is not getting rich off of that. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm making? Every time you go and you buy some weed, somebody wearing some skinny jeans and you can help somebody out mm -hmm. that is not about black supremacy. Mm -hmm. They got guns for you too. You didn't bought them a gun. You understand what I'm saying? You, 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 you're helping support those who are not awakened. The only support that we should have for those who are not awakened is supporting their awakening. We shouldn't be buying them guns to kill one another, talking about I and I. But you buying enough weed to, to play for Glocks. You didn't bought Glocks and AKs. Am I right? Just to stay high. Just to see Selassie. But you don't take responsibility for it. Because that's your meditation and your medication. So it doesn't, you know, I don't got nothing to do with that. Yes, you do. Take the money you bought weed and they go buy a pound, of, buy eight ball and flip that. Thank you, brethren. You was just getting weed, but you didn't bought them a pound. You, 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 you participated. In a dangerous drug underground economy that is designed for the destruction of black people. I'm not saying marijuana was designed for that. But this drug economy in the urban society is designed for the destruction of black people. You're going heavy now. That's what the drug economy was created for. That's their underground black tax market. Mm -hmm. To gain, to sell contraband, to gain money, to fight their wars for global white imperialism. That's a fact. But my point is, we can lick, we can go into a state of consciousness where we live in the full recognition of our divinity continuously. That's black God consciousness. And that's where we're trying, we're choosing to get people to be at. That's enlightenment. 
Because now the light is on and you see your people for who they are. You don't have read about them for who they are. You're not even there to per se even teach them who they are. You are there to see them for who they are. Because even if they don't know who they are and you see them for who they are, you still know how to use them based upon their divine position in the nation. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like a coach. He don't even know. He, the, the, the players might not even know they, they break position as much as the coach do. But what's the difference between the coach and the players? He sees them for who they are. To place them in games and to set up games and plays, right? Mm -hmm. So they act out their positions to win the games. Well, we have to become coaches to our community. But we won't become the coaches to set up the plays until we can constantly see them for who they are. And the seer is the enlightened being. So it's beyond teaching. It's even beyond teaching. It's about seeing. Because if you see something without even communicating, you can still organize. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, I see this is what they own over there, so I see they own it over there, and that's, that's the, what they own. I see who they are. So we put this together like this. We got a nation. No teaching even happened. No teaching ever happened. People can reject teachings, but they cannot reject who they are. And those who see them for who they are can make the divineness of moves as far as nation building. Do you see what I'm saying? So we have to become great seers. And by being in a state of black consciousness, we see them based on the highest black divinity. That's fearless. Because you can't see black divinity and black people and be afraid of them. But if you see men of society and boys the hood, you better, you got a lot to worry about. If you look at your people and you see in men of society and boys the hood and you see in New Jack City, hmm. if that's what you are seeing, then that's fear. You got a lot to worry about. But if you're looking and you actually are seeing gods and goddesses, not teaching, but seeing, you got some power there. Do you understand what I'm saying? So enlightenment is becoming a seer and being able to interface with other people based upon seeing. Not interfacing with other people based upon sleeping. <laughs> Interfacing doesn't mean teaching. It means relating to them out of what is real. Because if I see you this way, I'm going to relate to you that way. Mm -hmm. Give an example. You got a drag queen. If you don't see the drag queen is a goddamn man, mm -hmm. then you interface with them as a woman. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> Teaching them that they're a man don't mean shit. First, you want to not interface with them. <laughs> right. Based on being something that they are not. Am I correct? Right, right. So seeing is the point. We're not going out to teach them, these drag queens, that they are not men. I mean women. We see that they are. We see that they are <laughs> not. <laughs> right, right. We want to stay in the seeing of them, to interface with them based upon reality. So enlightenment means that you, it will change the way you interface with the material world. Am I correct? Yes, sir. How can you see you are God, but you work for the white man? You are not enlightened. Because you're interfacing as a slave. Right. How can you see you are God and be afraid of your own people and be afraid of the white man? You do not see that you are God. You don't see your black divinity. You have been informed. You have memorized the rhetoric. You understand? Of being something great. But you don't see it. Because if you saw it, we would change this shit in 24 hours. If we saw it, y'all 